best amplifier in the world, what does it really mean? I'm often getting questioned. What amplifier should I purchase for my audio system? Or sometimes, even more challenging, I want world best amplifier but not ready to spend money for Macintosh top line amplifiers. In this video, I will share critical things to know before choosing your amplifier and how to optimize your spendings upgrading or purchasing complete audio system. And for those who are do-it-yourself fans, I added end-to-end -end video how we made one of the best amplifiers in the world using professional grade power supply developed by Abletech company. Part 1. What amplifier do I need for audiophile music listening? During the last 7 years, what has changed dramatically, and today's modern audiophile system consists only of 4 critical elements. Personal computer with properly configured drivers is almost perfect interface to access music content from anywhere. Cloud-based services allow to access almost unlimited audio libraries. Some of those services are dedicated only to high-quality content. And of course, we are able to wrap our personal CD collection in looseless formats and store them in computer or cloud. Nevertheless, there are a number of audio fields still using vinyl turntables as a music source, but today it's not dominant format anymore. For me personally, easy access to content plays a critical role, and 7 years ago I simplified my audio system to 4 elements – computer, digital analog converter, amplifier and speakers. Part of the automatic change is addressing audio amplifiers. For a long time, audio amplifier was a critical element for audio field system, but not anymore. Semiconductor elements today are so good that we already exceeded human hearing capability to distinguish difference between good and great amplifier. So you have a lot of amplifier purchasing options, but will sound equally good. We can see more and more systems where amplifier is integrated in speakers as well. Today our investment should move towards digital preamplifier with built-in digital to analog converter and speakers. Those two components are making real difference between good and great system where you will hear a real outcome from investments. Things worth to know before purchasing amplifier. For your reference I put a link to original article below. There are two important findings what scientists discovered. First, distortion blind test results outcome. Nether Group could identify the distortion at 5% confidence level in long-term listening tests. However, using ABX testing, the group or people not only correctly proved the audibility of distortion in 45 minutes of testing, but also correctly identified lower amount of distortion. In the complete series of tests, total harmonic distortion THD, was found to be audible at 4% using big band jazz music, 2% using flute music, and 0.4% using a cine wave. Second, working below the clipping level, less than 0.1% of total harmonic distortions, with flat fr frequency response, below 0.25 decibels, after four decades of testing by a number of very capable scientists, no evidence has been published that show any objective difference among sound of good to excellent audio amplifier operated well below clipping, if the frequency response are equalized within 0.25 dB or flat. Conclusion For audio field experience you need enough power. At least 1.5 times more power comparing to your speaker maximum ratings. It is more important to have extra power with acceptable parameters than less power with better characteristics. What power do I need for my speakers? Let's try to answer based on knowledge shared in previous slides. As example, I took my one of uh, favorite amplifier modules designed by famous chip manufacturer International Rectifier. It is stereo 250 watt reference design audio amplifier module with publicly available characteristics. I like this model very much due to the option to get much cheaper under licensed manufactured third party version. Original model has been priced for $240, but under license manufactured, you can get three times cheaper. Both units will have the same bill of materials and sound equally good. When you look at the characteristics, you can see that this amplifier has outstanding performance in power range from 5 watts to 150 watts, and very good total harmonic distortions up to 220 watts, still being below 0.1% threshold. This 250W amplifier module is perfect match for 100-150W speaker system. It will work in maximum linearity power range and will have enough headroom to handle worst scenario peaks what are critical for classic music listening. Importance of power supply Why power supply is so important in audio amplifier design? Audio music spectrum is not the same as pure cine wave. Music signal consuming only uh, one eight average power comparing to cine wave, but we need efficient instant current capability for punchy bass reproduction. Power supply is unit where manufacturer can save a lot. 
Severe competition forcing amplifier manufacturers makes those savings. Today, difference between bad and good amplifier lies in the power supply. Let's look to really good professional grade switching mode power supply, Abeltac ALP 0400. It's really state-of-the-art unit, specially elaborated for demanding class day designs. It is capable withstand 445 watts continuous power for 5 minutes, work from 90 to 264 volts covering worldwide mines requirements, has excellent protection circuits, low standby power, and fully certified for worldwide electromagnetic compatibility, what definitely is not a cheap process. All above mentioned with conventional cooling designs make this power supply a good candidate for the world's best amplifier designs. There are two more parameters worth to be mentioned. Lifetime 10 years. An MTBF, mean time between failures, 100,000 hours or 11 years. Based on those exceptional characteristics, we decided to design our amplifier without mechanical audio level regulator due to significantly shorter lifetime than the rest of the system. All above mentioned making Abeltac ALP 0400 and Erodump 7S perfect match for world best amplifier. In factory sellout we purchased 16 units of Abeltec power supplies for reasonable price. Our test unit performed so well that we sold it to Audiofield Saloon, where amplifier has been used for high-end speaker tests. Small physical dimensions and weight gave extra flexibility switching between speakers and systems. At this point I'm finishing my presentation about things to know before purchasing audio amplifier. The rest of the video will be dedicated to amplifier enclosure and sampling process. This part uh, will be valuable for any talent who wants to build electronic device. We will show how to develop enclosure and assembling process. There are pros and cons making this project live. And the pros, reliable professional grade power supply above the KLP0400, universal input range 90 to 240 volts applicable for worldwide market, proven quality amplifier module Eurodump 7S manufactured under international rectifier license, Outstanding audio performance in power range from 10 to 150 watts, good up to 200 watts, very efficient protection circuits. And the cons, limited amount of power supplies available, high enclosure costs due to the small amount of units. It is hard to prove business case, it's more about willingness to build such a good amplifier. No warranty is possible due to the lack of replacement power supply, but power supply has so good reliability characteristics that we can neglect that risk. Enclosure is making significant part of audio amplifier costs. Very nice designed audio amplifier enclosure is 30% of total amplifier costs and not making sounds better. We decided that for 16 amplifier pieces we will not overprice with golden plated enclosures and knobs. Amplifier design will be aesthetic using light aluminium material and high quality powder coating painting without silk screen prints. It is always challenge to produce small amount units due to high enclosure costs. There is option to put amplifier in standard boxes, but typically it doesn't work well. We decided that we will use our prototyping lab to produce 16 enclosures and will film end-to-end -end process how to make enclosure using basic equipment. It is amazing how many things you can do with simple CNC router. Good router with well-selected mill can provide tolerance of 0.01 mm. Good enclosure needs just 0.1 mm tolerance. So, we come to end of the story. Just a short summary of things to remember to be rational autofill system buyer. Total harmonic distortions below 0.1% are inaudible. Amplitude frequency linearity is important. Power amplifier best location is close to speakers. You will save significant money on expensive wires. Forget about golden plated expensive designs. Amplifier power capability should be at least 1.5 times higher than speaker maximum long term power characteristics. Saved resources allocate for music sound quality upgrade. Match speakers to your room size. Room acoustic treatment is important as well. There are tons of information in internet dedicated to this topic. And what is most important, all good amplifiers sound equally when running far below clipping and matching amplitude linearity.